Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt, and it's Sunday, August 1st. Welcome to August, everybody. Uh, that puts us, what, 60 days away from quarter four. Better get going. Well, uh, this is our weekly What Sold video. All postcards, postcards only. And uh, we do this video hopefully to help you start getting an understanding, or if you're interested in postcards, kind of get a sense of value and what things go for. When I first started selling postcards and getting interested in, uh, videos like these really helped me, and hopefully these can help you. Uh, so this week, we had a total of 70 cards at 69 on eBay and one on HIP postcard. One postcard all week sold on HIP. That is it's not great. Uh, grand total was $507. That's 501 on eBay, which is a great number for a week in postcard sales uh, for as many as I have listed. And five of it, maybe six, it was in Euro. I don't know the conversion on HIP postcard. So this week, I'm going to talk maybe a little bit more about uh, sort of what I look at when I'm researching a card and how I decide to price it. Uh, I do that a little bit on every video, but uh, I, I'm going to try to spend a little bit more on this one talking about that. I uh, want to mention as well, one of the questions I get most often is about the shipping materials that I use. So I want to let everybody know that there are links down below uh, for those shipping materials. Uh, I checked. I didn't see a, sport, uh, a postcard show coming up this week, but there is one next week. There's also a link in the description uh, for links to all upcoming postcard shows. And I really encourage you to go visit one of these if you have the opportunity. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot near me. I would definitely be going to uh, one if it uh, made sense and it was a little closer by. Uh, so absolutely, please check out those links below and uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So let me just get myself all situated for you here. Right away we go. So this is our first card. Uh, very, very sort of um, basic card. Like when you look this up, there's, there was quite a few of them out there. Uh, when I see that, I'm pretty much just listing it at my minimum price, which in this case is $295. I sent out an offer, looks like for 10% off and somebody took it. So I'm not making a ton of money on this card, $2.66, which, you know, it for a lower price card, you know, a little profit is better than no profit. It got it sold. Happy to move on to the next one. Here's a another one, the Merchandise Mart in Chicago, Night View. Typically, Night Views do very well for me. Uh, Definitely, like, if, if I have a night view of a card, I am almost definitely going to list it. The price I listed at is it depends on the card and the subject matter, but pretty much guaranteed, you know, it's not going to go into a lot. It's going to get listed. So this one wasn't huge money. Um, it uh, only went for uh, $2.95 with free shipping. And part of that is just a common card. And mine really wasn't in the best condition. You can kind of see along the edges here. It is a posted card. We've got creasing. Like it's, I probably could have gotten another buck or two if it was better condition, but um, I will, I will usually knock down the price a little bit when it's common and a lower condition card. Here we have the Haddam Neck Connecticut uh, Nuclear Power Plant. This one took a little while to sell, but uh, I think interesting content. It took about two months to sell. Uh, nuclear power plants I've done very well with. Uh, I think people like the whole atomic connection. Uh, it could also just be somebody collecting for, for, for the state or for the area. Uh, newest power plant. So in the, what, 50s or 60s? Uh, $3.95 free ship. Here we have Lake Helen at Mount Lawson National Park in California. Uh, this is a one of those where it's a common subject, but a unique view. 
So when I see that there's a bunch of cards of this location out there, but I don't see my exact card out there, then I'm going to go a little bit higher. But I'm also looking at the solds and what cards from this area have been selling for. Uh, and that will inform my price as well. So if I see that, you know, there's a ton of cards out there, I don't see this view, but there's also no solds. I may try to price mine competitively and see if I can get it sold because it's unique. Um, in this case, it went for $4.95 with free shipping. Here we have Flatbush Theater in New Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I learned this week from uh, another postcard channel um, about red type on postcards. I haven't dug really deep into this yet. I want to do some more research. I know that that Yellowstone Park, uh, and when I say red type, I mean the red, red type face down at the bottom of the card there. Uh, I know that Yellowstone Haynes cards with the red typing can do uh, are typically more valuable. And I new information to me is that postcards in general from this era with the red typing can be worth more. I've from what I've run across, I don't know that it's true across the board. I definitely listed this one before hearing this. It's a nice postcard in general unposted, unique view, unique location. So I got $8.95 for this one. Free shipping. Uh, also in my bucket of going to get listed on its own, no matter what, is pretty much any Las Vegas casino, no matter what it is. Uh, if it's even a common casino and there's other cards out there, I'm, I'm usually going to be at $5.95 or $6.95 no matter what. The rarer ones uh, and less common ones will go up from there, but pretty much my baseline is about five ninety five, six ninety five on a Las Vegas casino one. And this one's nice. We got cars in the parking lot. We've got a really nice view of the the cowboy sign here. So there's a lot going on, a lot of appeal. It can appeal to a number of different kind of collectors, people who might like the classic car element, people who might like the big signs, or just casino collectors in general. So. This one went for $6.95, sold relatively quickly in about a week. The next two cards went to the same buyer. Um, they are both Walt Disney World postcards. The grand total on the order was $9.90. I think I probably had them out for one for $4.95 and the other for $5.95, and they got a 10% discount for buying multiples. So I don't have an individual price on the card, but that's about where we're at. Uh, so we have here we have Dumbo and the topiary of the elephant. And then we have the uh, contemporary hotel with the monorail coming out of it. Uh, views of this hotel uh, do very well. I've, I, th I don't think I actually have any more to sell, to be honest. I had a bunch of them that all got listed at the same time. And I think this might be the last one. So, yeah, I mean, Disney obviously always sells. Uh, if you price it right. It took a little while, but it did sell. Another night view. This is the St. James Motel, or Hotel rather, in Denver, Colorado. Uh, this one I had up at $14.95, which actually was a little bit higher than some of the others out there. But I noticed the other ones that I saw didn't have great keywords. So I went a little bit higher than the competition because I didn't see that there was a great quality on the listings. So uh, this one got a watcher almost right away. I sent an offer uh, for 10% off. They took me up on it. So the final price on this was $13.45 plus $1 shipping. Here we have a trans TWA, T, uh, Trans World Airlines advertising postcard. Uh, it is a you know nice one of the pyramids. Pyramids, the Sphinx, good content for postcards. If if you have them, uh, you know, they kind of go against the international subject matter. But this one's also an advertising postcard. So it's got a little bit more uh, crossover appeal. So uh, nice postcard. This one sold for $7.16. It also, uh, somebody took me up on an offer I sent out. Uh, baseball. 
anything baseball in a postcard is going to do well uh, because you, you have crossover. This is the high school baseball stadium in Clinton, Indiana. Came from a recent private pick postcard buy. Uh, I had it up at thirty four ninety five, dollars uh, and I went back and forth with a customer. They initially wanted, I think, 15 on it. Um, a lot of times when it comes in, the offer comes in that low, especially on a new listing, I'll just do a flat decline. Uh, but I, I uh, countered with 30 in this case. They came back with 25. I said, okay, uncle, it's sold. Uh, so it went for that amount, 25 plus first class shipping, which was four bucks. It's a nice unposted black and white baseball field. You've got a game actually going on here, even though you don't see much of the game. Um, so definitely happy with what this one sold for. Uh, here's another one. There's a lot of this card out there. It's a real photo postcard. Uh, there were... I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 of this exact postcard. Same view, same uh, publisher. It was a real photo as well. Um, actually, this one's not a real photo. It is printed, my mistake. It is a printed postcard. Um, so I just went at a price that I, I thought I could get it to move at, which is my minimum of $2.95 with free shipping. And it sold relatively quickly. So if you, if you do a search for this exact postcard right now, the Great Highway at the Beach in San Francisco, right? Let's just, we'll actually do that here. Let's do a, and here we go. 36 results with this exact keyword. Here's one very much like mine. Here's another one very much like mine. We're at $6.99, $3.99. Very similar. These are the uh, horizontal views. Here we have it again. Exact same card. Exact same card. If you look at these prices here, $6.95, $6.95. $3.99, it's not moving. Four plus one, it's not moving. Here's a more of a color view, slightly different. But really, we're really looking at the ones that are pretty much exactly the same. Here's another one, $6.95 plus a dollar, $7.99 free ship, $12.99, $12.99, $5.99. These are all sitting here. These are all sitting here and nobody's buying it. And let's look at the solds. Here's mine, $2.95. And there's no other solds. So We had 30 some odd of this exact same view unsold. And when I looked, there was only two solds. Now there's three because mine sold. So these are the things I look at when I'm setting a price for a card. Uh, just to give you all some insight in, in how my brain works. Clearly nobody's buying this card at 695. Is too common. Moving on. Here we have 1933. This is not a factory in Detroit, Michigan. This is a exhibit of a assembly line set up by the Chevrolet company at the 1933 uh, Century of Progress World's Fair in Chicago. Uh, so you've got, again, all kinds of crossover here. It's an advertising postcard. We've got the, the car element. We've got the World's Fair collectible element to it. So it's got a lot going on for it. Um, it's not the most uncommon of card. Mine's in nice condition, un, unposted. Um, so I, again, it's a common card, but uh, I, I went a little bit higher on it because it it's I knew it was going to sell eventually. This one is really neat. Uh, again, I had a higher price on this one. I think I had it up at uh, $34.95. Uh, this is World War II, Idaho potatoes. So it's kind of an advertising postcard, but it's also a military postcard. And it's all, also an artist signed postcard up here 
with Ernie uh, Hogger. There was only one other of these that had been sold that I found on Worth Point. It was fifteen dollars. Um, there was none available when I listed mine, so I priced it up. Uh, it's got kind of an interesting message here. These designs that somebody just drew, uh, and it's military issue. Furnished for the convenience of the men of the armed services by Idaho State Department of Agriculture. So they would have given this card out to soldiers to use for their correspondence home. So it's, again, this is one of those things where, you know, you've you got to look at what's here and there's a lot going for it. So I, I, I priced mine up $34.95. I, I settled on $23 uh, with the buyer and it, it, within a matter of a couple of days. Here is the Washoe Shelter in Anaconda, Montana. Uh, Anaconda, Montana, Anaconda Mine, all good content um, listed up. This came from a, uh, a buy a couple of months back from another reseller, Gravity Goods. Go subscribe to that channel, please. It is great content. And uh, yeah, this one came out of that. Uh, I'm definitely recouped on my cost of, of like $40 for around three or 400 postcards. And uh, this one sold for a three ninety five dollars uh, free ship. We have Williams Circle near Blairsden, California on the Western Pacific Railway. Uh, the other ones I saw out there didn't, th were missing some element of the keywords for this one. Mine isn't in the best condition. You can see it pretty plain as day here. Uh, but the other, and the other ones were up for like $14, $15. They were expensive. Uh, mine, considering the condition, uh, even though it's unposted, it's definitely seen better days. Still got $7.95 free shipping out of this one. Another mine in Butte, Montana, the Pennsylvania mine, uh, I've done very, very well with the, uh, the mining and mines, um, the popular content for sure. Uh, I have multiple of this card. I initially added up for six ninety five, And then when I, I got a second one, that was basically, I could just do a multi quantity cause they were the same condition. Uh, I actually lowered the price by a dollar. Uh, so this one sold for six ninety five with free ship. Then we have uh, Keller Memorial Bridge in Decatur, Alabama. Nice linen postcard, nice view of the bridge, very nice condition, unposted. Uh, it, still, regardless, it took a little while to sell, uh, but it did for $6.95 free shipping. This is a view on Lake Washington, um, Seattle. So this is probably looking out towards what would now be Kirkland, Washington. Uh, right over here in the distance. Uh, but what's unique on this one is we've got a view of this of the ferry boat uh, take going across before there was a bridge. So it's definitely an interesting card. Uh, I put mine up for $19.95 plus shipping, and it sold at full price uh, very, very quickly. We have uh, Battle Creek, Michigan, the Kellogg cereal plant. Nice chrome postcard. $8.95 free shipping. These next two cards went to the same buyer, um, and you, you'll see why. Uh, we have San Joaquin Valley, King Car uh, Cotton. Uh, shows up a little dark. It was a brighter card than this. I probably could have touched it up. Uh, unposted, Mike Roberts, San Joaquin Valley, at California agriculture postcards do pretty well. I actually got this and a whole lot of other agriculture postcards right off of eBay. Um, paid around $60 at auction for it well over a year ago. Um, and this was in that pile that was not worth it for me to list up until relatively recently. So this one went for uh, this and the next one, which is the potato digger. So we got the cot King Cotton and the Potato Digger, both in um, San Joaquin Valley, which is Kern County, California. Uh, the total for these two cards was $13.90, and they went out free shipping. 
Here we have a uh, nice real photo postcard of the Roosevelt County Courthouse in Wolf Point, Montana. Uh, Cecil Nixon, you'll see here, a uh, lot of real photo postcards from Montana you see with this photographer and manufacturer. Uh, this one took a little while to sell, but I'm perfectly happy with what it went for. It went for $32.95 plus first class shipping. Large letter greeting, Salt Lake City, Utah. This one uh, went for $2.95. And the reason why is it's pretty marked up with writing. Uh, if it was a uh, large letter without the writing, I probably would have gone $3.95 for this one. Uh, even so, it did take a little while to sell. Um, so $2.95 free shipping is what I took. Here is Providence Hospital in Everett, Washington. Again, a very common subject. There was a, quite a few out there. Uh, not as common of a view. And I'm going to show you guys my mistake. Here's the keyword for there. Uh, very, very, very misspelled. Ever, ever at Washington. Ever. Everett, Washington. Yep. Uh, somebody found it, though, quickly. Uh, started on July 25th, so it sold in under a week. Um, and uh, put it up, I think, at $9.95. No, sorry, $6.95. And sent out a 10% off offer. Somebody took me up on it. Here we have the Suez Canal with a ship coming on through. Uh, I priced this one up. Uh, at the time when Suez Canal was in the news, uh, looks like this ship had plenty of room to get through, and uh, it did sell for eight ninety five, my full asking price, uh, with free shipping. Here's a uh, nice West Virginia Cooper's State Rock concession stand, sold for two ninety five with free shipping. Uh, again, pr there was others out there. I priced mine at a price that I thought it would move at, and it turns out I was right. Here's the uh, planetarium in Griffith Park, Los Angeles, California. Again, very, very common subject matter. You look this up, uh, up there's several hundred postcards out there. Uh, I priced mine pretty middle of the road, understanding it might take a little while to sell, and it did. Um, finally did sell for $3.95 free shipping. And it's a linen postcard, unposted. Nice condition, though. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to catch the attention, so I kind of focused in here on the monument in front. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's what got it clicked through to and sold, but it did sell. Here is Yellowstone Park, Upper Falls of the Grand Canyon. Uh, 1960s plastic chrome postcard, unposted. Uh, you know, Yellowstone, Yosemite are always going to sell well if you price them right. This one sold for $3.95 free ship. Another West Virginia card. This one less common. Uh, I sold this one for $9.95 free shipping. The U.S. government buildings in Harpers Ferry. Uh, pretty much West Virginia, gr a good, good location to list your cards for. Uh, I, I'm pretty much on the on the on board now. If I uh, list all of the West Virginia postcards, just list them all. It's like a Disneyland postcard or a night view. It's on my list of always just list it. Even if I'm listing it for my minimum price of $2.95, I'm going to list it on its own because I'm going to get more from the individual card than the than putting it in a lot. And I'm confident that it's going to sell. Moving right along, we've got the Royal Gorge in uh, the Arkansas River, Colorado. Train coming through, nice cool looking billow of smoke coming out. Uh, that was definitely my focus when listing it. There we go. 
Uh, been selling quite a few Royal Gorge postcards the last couple of months. You've probably seen the Royal Gorge come up in the majority of my last videos. Uh, again, this is probably one of those locations I'm just going to list, especially when it's got, you know, an image like this and, uh, you know, the train coming through. Uh, so this one went for six ninety five free shipping, and I bet... This isn't the last we hear from the Royal Gorge. Foreshadowing. Moving on. This is the Hotel Bentley in Alexandria, Virginia. Linen postcard. Uh, nice sort of, you know, vanishing point corner view. Not huge money. $2.95 free ship. Here is another nice train approaching uh, Butte, Montana on the Northern Pacific Railroad. There were other cards of this out there. Keywords were not there. Made no mention that this was a railroad on the other one that I, that I saw listed. So I listed mine. Northern Pacific Railroad. What do you know? It sold. Uh, $4.95 free shipping. And it took uh, a couple of weeks to sell. Uh, another one, this actually went to the same buyer. Um, and so it was Butte, Montana, the richest hill in the world. Uh, another slightly older white border. This isn't linen. The one prior to it was. Um, this actually came from the Gravity Goods buy as well. Thank you, Cameron. And sold for $4.95. So, you know, $10 between two cards to the same customer. Uh, here we have a postcard of Pacifica, California, the Sanchez Adobe. Uh, did, there weren't a lot of cards out there of this particular uh, uh, view. So um, there was a couple of solds, but because there wasn't any out there, I went a little bit higher in my pricing. So it sold for $5.95 free ship. Very cool. Halifax River Golf Club in Daytona, Florida. Got the person on the bike here. View of the boats. Just a nice view of postcard. Unposted. Undivided back. So that puts this early 1900s. Um, my focus on this one, obviously, try to get the person on the bike in there. Fill up the square. And I had it up for $19.95. Free ship. I took an offer of $14 plus ship. Here we have the Union Depot in Portland, Oregon. Lots going on here. We got some people hanging out. Not the greatest condition card. We can see this big blotch right here in the middle. Uh, a couple other smudges up here. You know, I'll, uh, condition doesn't always matter. A lot of times this kind of stuff can add, is adding character and history to the card, and people like that. Um, but we see the, you know, we've got car in front here. Nice view of it. It looks like a maybe a Model T or Model A. Uh, date on the back. Department of Inland Affairs to go. So didn't leaving for Fallen to be. We'll write you soon from there. Interesting. So yeah, it's a nice card. This is a, a Portland, Oregon uh, transfer clerk. So this would have been postmarked, I believe, at the railroad station, which is neat. Uh, not the most un, you know, not uncommon card, but still, I got seven ninety five free ship. Another nice advertising TWA postcard going over the New York skyline. Just a very very cool looking objectively cool looking if you even if you're not into planes this is cool right like flying over manhattan i think that's cool uh this one sold for 9.95 free shipping mightiest fleet of super skyliners yeah this is uh, Bennington, Vermont, old Bennington, Vermont. This is the Battle of Bennington 
it is uh, part of the diorama they have of the Battle of Bennington. Um, a few weeks back, we saw a number of other these cards that sold. Um, this one uh, and others like it, there, there's a lot of them out there, so I priced them to sell. So it was $2.95 uh, listing price and then went, sold on a 5% off offer. So $2.80 shipped. Oh, Don Ho and your tiny bubbles at the Polynesian Palace. Nice advertising postcard. Had it up at $4.95. I sent out an offer, 5% off. Somebody took it off. This also went, uh, came from the Gravity Goods Buy. Thank you, Cameron. Uh, but yeah, pretty much Hawaii. Hawaii sells. Got the map of Waikiki and the Don Ho show. I would have liked to go to that in the 70s. I bet that would have been, a, been fun. I wonder, I wonder if he would have sang Tiny Bubbles. Here we have the uh, Gallagher Steakhouse Dining Room. Uh, there was uh, quite a few out there. Everyone was way higher priced than what I thought this was going to sell for. It's a nice postcard. It's cool view. Uh, but... You know, when I see that there's a lot out there that are priced high, but they're not selling, you know, that's usually an opportunity to make a sale if you're willing to take less than what the others are listed at. And that was the case here. Uh, mine went for $4.70 and sold pretty quickly. Mission La Bahia in, near Goliad, Texas. Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, again, Texas postcards. I'm just going to list them 295 for this one, uh, free shipping. And again, a matter of what else was out there, the condition of mine, we've got a little boo-boo right here. Um, but yeah, not bad at all. We got some goats. Actually, technically these are mountain sheep. It's a hand colored postcard. Uh, meaning that so, this was printed black and white. Somebody by hand put in the color on this one. Uh, it's an Albert type. We know that because it says so right here, the Albert type company. Um, so, yeah, very happy with this one. I, I had a lot on it that could sell the card, right? We've got the hand colored element, it's unposted. We got the sheep. Everyone likes sheep, right? Especially mountain sheep, right? Y'all love sheep. I I know that's you're at home. You're yelling at your screen right now. We love sheep. Well, I know. That's why we're spending so long talking about the sheep. Because you love the sheep. Everybody loves the sheep. Who doesn't love sheep? I don't love sheep. Nice comic postcard. Very uh, risque. It's a, uh, artist signed Cooper. I like Cooper postcards. They're all a little bit cheeky and risque. I sort of focused on how risque it was. <laughs> uh, still funny. Sold overseas um, relatively quickly. This one went for eight ninety five plus international shipping. All right, so this is a Metropolitan Museum of Art postcard. And I'll be honest, I was having trouble settling on a price on this one when I was listing it. Looking up the things I looked up on this one. So we'll, we'll, let's just do a quick little exercise again. I know where this is going to be a longer video, but let's go along for the ride. We're going to first of all search for the Giovanni name of the artist postcard. We've got 108 results coming up. This artist did a lot of Madonna with Child. A lot. There's mine that sold for $4.95. Here's one other one down here at $5.99 for this art for this particular artist. So mine is an, it's a nice quality card, but then we're going to do the Metropolitan 
Museum of Art postcard. And we have 635. Now, most of these obviously are going to be views of the museum itself. But we look at the sold, there's 50 sold out of 600 listings. That's not a great sell through. Look at the prices on a lot of these. They're not, there's some, here's here's one that, uh, these. this is a water bottle that has pictures of postcards. Uh, here's one of the Hunt of the Unicorn by a different artist, for, went for $5.99 plus shipping. But by and large, we're, a lot of these are two, three, maybe four dollar postcards. Here's a different one, the Turkish Brocade. So this one's really all over the place, right? I could have gone higher. I probably could have gone lower. Uh, there's Here's another Hunt of the Unicorn that went for $6.99. So it, it, I think it really comes down to content and the card itself. Uh, and sometimes you just got to go with your gut, right? The more you can't go down a rabbit hole on every single card you're researching, right? I thought I had a nice looking card. Uh, I decided to price it at four ninety five. It sold overnight for that price with free shipping. Here we have the Cincinnati, Ohio Rookwood Pottery. This is an old 1904 Detroit Publishing postcard here. Uh, again, very common subject matter for postcards. Nothing particularly special about mine, but there it does have things that, that people look for, which is one, the Detroit Publishing is a popular publisher of postcards. People collect a lot of Detroit publishing. The Rockwood Pottery, there's a lot of pottery around the, the Ohio and Midwest around this era. So people collect that pot, the actual pottery, but they also collect the things that have to do with that pottery. So this could have very well gone to somebody who doesn't even collect postcards, but they collect Rookwood Pottery, right? So uh, it has crossover appeal in that way. Uh, this one went for $4.95 free shipping. Here we have the entrance to City Park in Iowa City, Iowa. This one shocked me how fast I I think I got like three watchers in very, very little time. I'm not sure what did it. It's got that red lettering down at the bottom. Not sure if that's what did it. I didn't even mention that in my listing. Uh it's just of the gate, right? It's not particularly amazing. Uh, there weren't others out there of it, of this particular view. Mine isn't in the greatest condition. Uh, I put it up at 1995 plus shipping. I immediately got a, sorry, pardon me, uh, 1495 plus shipping. I immediately got a offer for $8. I declined that. Uh, or, or I, yeah, I just did a flat decline on it. Uh, I had the opportunity to send uh, offers to watchers shortly thereafter. I sent out one for 10% off. So $13.45 plus shipping. And somebody quickly took me up on that. This card was up for a matter of a couple of days. And it really, I think, comes down to just looking out there, seeing that there are buyers for this location. But there, this particular view not being available at the time of listing. So in those cases, I'm going to list a little bit higher and uh, yeah, happy with the uh, 13 bucks I got for this postcard. Nice comic postcard from 1911. This is in the uh, early days of the discovery of microbes. Um, now the, this and the following three cards all went to the same customer. So uh, the grand total for this and the next three cards was fifteen thirty-one, dollars with free shipping. Uh, I don't have a breakdown in front of me of the cards, but for, they're all $3.95 and $2.95, and I think one was $4.95, and I think this was the $4.95 card. Well, I guess we could look. $3.95, I was wrong. So this one... This nice linen multi-view of uh, uh, 
Petersburg, pardon me, Moore's Brick Cottages in Chester, Virginia. Nice unposted advertising postcard. We have another Nor uh, Nobles Tourist Home in Brunswick, Georgia on US 17 from 1945. And a multi-view of the R&R &R Motel. This is also in Georgia, only in Nahunta, Georgia. I hope I'm saying that right. Unposted card. Uh, built in 54. Tiled baths, tubs and showers. So yes, those four cards, the grand total was 1531 with free shipping. Here we have the new high school in Pendleton, Oregon. Uh, this is a PNC Glosso series. So here's what this, I would say this would be one to be on the lookout for, PNC Glosso. They are uh, like divided back up until white border era. They're typically embossed with this oval view of the subject. Red type here again. Don't think that had anything to do with it. There just wasn't another of this card out there. So I put mine up at 1995. Somebody made an offer for 15 relatively quickly, and I took that money. Okay, so another multi-card order. The next three cards went to the same buyer, and uh, they are all similar in content. So the first here is the Santa Maria Inn. It's the dining room. Uh, another chrome postcard. There we go. I had to sort of fill it up like that. The next one to the same customer is Ricky's Studio Inn in Palo Alto, California. I know for sure that this was my minimum price, $295. Uh, so it there was a lot of them out there. There's just a ton. Ricky's Studio Inn. Look, look, look it up. There are so many out there. So I just, because it's interesting, it's a nice sort of overhead aerial view. It's got a um, movie making connection to it. So that's kind of where I would end this old like ghost town here. Right. Uh, so that kind of adds the appeal. And then finally, we have the cabins at Red River Inn in Big Sur. Monterey, California. So those three cards went for a total of twelve seventy-two. Basically, they they got all three at full price, and then it's fifteen percent off for buying multiples. So very happy with that sale. Then we have Holiday Inn in uh, Santa Monica, California, nineteen seventies. Right, so it's not super old. Uh, People collect holiday in postcards, especially when it's got the old sign, right? This one had a lot going on for it. I kind of focused in here on the sign and some of the old cars, and you got the building. Uh, I put it up at fourteen ninety five. Got some watchers. Sent out a ten percent off offer, and it sold at thirteen forty five. Free ship. Nice view of Three Sisters, Oregon, from Mirror Lake. The only way I know it's Mirror Lake is I've seen other cards that say have the same view from Mirror Lake. Not big money, very common view of the card. It sold for $3.95 free shipping. Here we have the State Street Bridge in Rockford, Illinois. Divided back po er, divided back postcard 1907. Nice Rockford, Illinois, cancel along the back here. And we got another one on front from Iowa. Uh, this one sold for $7.95 free shipping. This is the 20 mule team built by SNW Perry. Each mule was $900. Uh, I think this is just sort of an interesting postcard. Need to get Buster on my lap here. He's being pushy. Um, there were again not an uncommon card. This one went for six ninety five, free shipping. 
Here we have Milan, Idaho, the Lucky Lucky Friday mine. So this is like the fourth or fifth mine that I've sold in this video this week. Um, not a you know super uncommon card, but mines do very well. Uh, this one sold for three ninety five, free shipping. Hey. What do you know? It's the Royal Gorge in Colorado. I had a feeling it'd be back. Uh, world's highest bridge, which that's neat, right? Everyone likes the bridge. We got a train again down here. Different era than the one before. This is like 1920s. We know the white border, right? We looked at the texture. It's not linen. It's a slick front. Nice, unposted, crisp card. Uh, sold for uh, on an offer. Uh, sent to watchers just five percent off. It was at six ninety five. Sent out five percent. They took it me up, and it went for six sixty. Sylvester Manor, the oldest house in Shelter Island, New York. Uh, again, priced this one well under the competition, in hopes to sell it relatively quick. It did sell relatively quick uh, for six ninety five free shipping. I think it sold in a day. Not super old, 1952, right? So happy with that. The Tatouche Range uh, from Paradise Valley here my neck of the woods, Washington State, Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, again, there were lots of them out there. Everyone was expensive. I priced mine to sell. It's especially it's got these smudges on the front. Uh, $4.95, free ship. The Conservatory at Como Park in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Again, very, very common subject. Price mine to sell. And $2.95 free ship. Another one here, my neck of the woods. Second Avenue looking south from Pick Street. It's actually Pike Street, P-I-K-E Street, so it's misspelled. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. I did mention that uh in the listing itself. Um, yeah, Second Avenue looking south. Where would this be now? Like this is before the Smith Tower was built. So this is very old, very old view. 1910, there we go. So this would be around 1908, 1909. The buildings that looking down this street at this point in time are much larger. Uh, this one sold for six, or pardon me, five sixty-five on a five percent off sent offer sent to watchers. Free shipping. The Nuuanu Pali in Honolulu. I think I said that right. Uh, seven ninety five free shipping. This one is cool. This is the uh, South Seas Curio Company. So I keep an eye out for this one when I'm looking at Hawaii postcards. They've got really cool backs to them, and you can always identify them here. The the South Seas Curio. I include that whenever I have room in my listing title, because collectors look for that as well. They made a, they published a lot of early Hawaii postcards that. Quite frankly, they're, most of them are just beautiful, as this one is. I love, it's kind of a, a darker view, but you see the sun shining on the hill right around the corner, kind of like beckoning this little cart to, to get around that corner so they're in the sun. I think it's just a very cool, very cool postcard for, for a general scenic view. Uh, Seven ninety five dollars free ship. Uh, here we have the South Car the Carolina Beach in North Carolina, the Miracle Beach. I have a ton of Miracle Beach postcards. They all came in a collection. They came in the uh, Michon auction collection that I bought uh, last February. So um, nice. I, I, you'll see this all the time on these beach beach ones. Honestly, this probably had was not taking taken on the Miracle Beach. This was probably just printed up, you know, a picture of these people, right? 
and whatever curio shop or whatever this uh, let's see here the service news company chose this image and they just printed the miracle beach at the top and bottom so there's a lot of cards we're like having a great time come see us the water is great with smiling people splashing around and then it'll be a different place so i wouldn't be surprised if you have the same postcard somewhere in your stalker collection but it isn't of the Carolina Beach, North Carolina. If you do, let me know where yours it says it's from. That might be interesting to discover. Here is another, I believe it's PNC Glosso. Indeed, PNC Glosso. So same thing as we saw before, a little bit different. Uh, this one has a faux wood frame. It looks like it's a, in a wood frame, but it's still just a postcard. Uh, There are others that are very much less common, but th this one's a this one's nice. I like the look of it. The black and white wood frame. Sometimes you'll see it like a brown, actual brown colored wood frame. Uh, not embossed on this one. It sold for seven ninety five free shipping. Up oh, here we have some floaters in Salt Air Beach. Uh, this is the Great Salt Lake, Utah. There we go. Unposted. This one took a little while to sell as well. Sold for $7.95 free shipping. Oops. This is our last one. Came in just under the gun for this video. Uh, last eBay card anyways. And this is uh, the Steamboat Wharf. Obviously, South Bristol, Maine. Uh, sold for $6.95, free shipping. And this is our last eBay card. Older card, divided back, 1910s. Uh, and then our single card from HIP sold for six euro plus shipping. This is uh, Paris, the Jardin de Luxembourg. Uh-huh. We all talk like Maurice Chevalier. Ho, ho, ho. Anyways, $6.95, free shipping. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our last postcard. And that was one long video. 52 minutes. If you made it here to the end, let me know. I made it to the end. Put it in the comments. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. I hope you've enjoyed them as well. Uh, if you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's ways to do that down below. You can do so through just subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I go live, which is almost every day, because I sell a lot of stuff that's not postcards. You can subscribe if this is your first time here. If you want to buy me a coffee, there's a link for that down below as well. Or you can click on any of my affiliate links down below when it's time for you to buy supplies. And that's another way to support the channel. So I thank you all very much for watching. We will see you next week on the next one. Catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.